The Americans might be celebrating 4th of July, but Celtic are celebrating it as well because they have got Kyogo signing a four-year contract. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football for your daily transfer roundup. That's going to be quick fire. I'm just going to quickly go through all the talking points of today. First up, we have Kyogo. Signed a deal with Celtic, four-year contract, committing himself to the club for four years. I've seen a lot of people say that this means he's guaranteed to stay. This means that he's shown loyalty. I mean, not necessarily. He has signed a contract, but he could still leave at the end of the season. And it could be a way for Celtic to get more money. But yeah, either way, it's a win-win for Celtic. If he stays the four years, then that's great. If he doesn't stay the four years, then they'll be able to get more money when he does go because there'll be longer remaining on his contract. So, good move for Celtic. Let's talk about Rangers, though. They have agreed, according to Fabrizio Romano, to sign Serial Dessers with around 5 million plus 1.5 million euros on add-ons. So, it looks like they wanted 7 million originally. And according to Fabrizio Romano, the amount Rangers are willing to pay over the entire transfer is approaching £7 million anyway. So it looks like that uh, Cremonese have got their wish and Fabrizio says that the deal will be announced relatively soon. So yeah, Dessers looks like he's going to be a Rangers player. But speaking of Celtic again, someone that might not be a Celtic player for much longer is of course Segrist. He is planning to leave Celtic. He said he wants to move to Australia. He has found love last year. He, he met his partner. She's in Australia and it looks like he wants to move there. They were photo like the world's hottest couple or some shit like that. So Segrist could be on his way to Australia and he did actually say legit he wants to move there. He wants to go. Uh, if that's the case then I think he will. I mean, what is keeping him at Celtic? Really sitting on the bench for Joe fucking Hart? I don't think so. So I would not be surprised to see Segrist go to Australia. Another Celtic player that could be on the way out, and that is Leal Abada. Sky Sports are reporting that Sporting Lisbon are considering a move for the 21-year-old Celtic winger. Especially if they lose Marcus Edwards, who is attracting interest from a number of Premier League clubs. It's a weird one. Leila Bada seems to be in demand from a lot of clubs, but the one club that he's not that highly in demand of is Celtic. I mean, he doesn't really get that many starts with Celtic. However, with Yota gone now, is this a chance for Leila Bada to stay? Do you think Leila Bada will be more likely to stay at Celtic now, thinking that, here, I am more likely to start, I can replace Jota, I can step up, I can get more game time, and I can prove that, you know, I am one of the better attacking players at Celtic. I think Jota moving might be the difference between Leila Bada staying and moving on. That's my opinion. Uh, Rangers are stepping up the chase for Danilio. According to the Scottish Sun, they are going to come in with an improved offer. Their £3.5 million pound bid was rejected. And it's strange to see Rangers putting in so many bids for strikers. They've already, uh, they've already bought that guy with the shit goal-scoring record, whose name I can't remember. They're about to sign Dessers, and now they're trying to get Danilio. For uh, 3.5 million, obviously they're going to have to pay more than that now because that was rejected. So, yeah, no, Rangers spending a decent amount of money here on strikers. And I guess they need it because if you look at last season, that's probably what it cost them. Especially in the old firm games, they just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. So Michael Beale trying to point out what needs to be done and he feels like strikers need to be brought in. And finally, Mullerwell has signed striker Connor Wilkinson from Walsall on a two-year deal. Who is Connor Wilkinson? Not too sure, guys. I'm not sure if he's any good at all, but he is 28. It's, um, Mullerwell will be the 12th club of his senior career and he's scored 59 goals and 295 club appearances. So he's averaging about a goal every five games. Not great. For a striker, will this be the guy to replace Kevin Fanfine? Based on those stats, I don't think so. But who knows? I can't really can't really comment too much on the guy. I don't really know who he is. But based on the stats, doesn't look like Kevin Fanfine level stats to me. Anyway, that's it, guys, for your Scottish transfer roundup. Uh, catch you in the next one. And of course, till next time, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.